Hey, what's happening with you? Said it said the wolf man. Mm, let's have a little old discussion, talk, and maybe a little old research. Galil H Gen 2 versus M and M M to X. I mean, why do that? Well, I don't know. If you look at them, if you look at them in person, they kind of look similar. You know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, I mean, let's just roll with it. Both have a Picatinny rail throughout the barrel on the top. Both of them have, one has the option of ambidextrous charging handle, but you know, more likely you're gonna keep the charging handle on the left. So both got left charging handles. Both got ambidextrous safety selector and both shoot 7.62 by 39. So, and both are not necessarily, you can't just, you can't just call it an AK. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what M to next. That's what Eminem Ministries tries to try to sell is that it's not an AK. You know what I'm saying? So let's put them holes together and see what it do. Now, one of the main things of I love about something that's not an AK, but owning a lot of AKs is that my magazines that I already own are going to fit. They're going to work. They're going to be in that. And I don't have to Go and buy some proprietary or some ugly looking banana mags to fit in some type of AR. Now, you can go with the Mutant or you can go with the PSA uh, KS-47. But if you want to somewhat stay in the AK family platform or even the aesthetic look, this is really what you got. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's maybe like another one out there, but I ain't really... I don't want that gun. But you, everybody knows the Galil, but not too many people know about the M10X. Let's look, let's, let's, I'm not even gonna bullshit with you. I do not know none of this shit by memory off the top of my head, you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to start telling you that this has this type of twist, this type of, you know what I'm saying, velocity, accuracy type shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna just read it to you, you know what I'm saying? Real quick, and I'm gonna pop it on the screen. Simple like right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. I'm, so I'm gonna just read it. M to next. Magpul, Zukov, side photo stock. Long stroke gas piston, fully heat treated, black, nitride finished bulk carrier. I mean, do I really need to read all this shit? You know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm gonna read some of this, but the majority of it, I'm gonna just put it on the screen for you. But some of the things that sticks out is that this only has 45 parts. So that's kind of cool when it comes to trying to clean. I don't really know about repair, and I'm a, you know what I'm saying? But that's 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 cool and all. And you can probably feel that when you're actually holding, you know what I'm saying? But um, you got the ambidextrous charging handle, and that's kind of neat, but I have my differences about it. And I think I can show you but then I can tell you, this is mine. This is hybrid, because it's AKM hybrid. You know what I'm saying? So, it has the ambidextrous charge handle. You can put this hole on both sides. Now, here's kind of the problem with that. That means it's not fixed. That means it's not something that's going to stay there. And the way that you can have this go come off, the way that you take it off, of course, is you push it in and then you twist it. So it has, it's, it's spring loaded, you know what I'm saying? See how it goes in like that. But if you try to do, you know what I'm saying, some, some bass shooting and you, you're doing some reloads or whatnot, you might just, you know, by force, by being strong arm, squeeze this and squeeze it and twist at the same time. And when you do that at the same time, it'll pull this off. And when that pulls off, then the whole entire bolt system just goes right back in here. You know what I'm saying? It just falls back in here. And then the piston is detached. So. At that point, what you have to do is reattach it. You have to have, you have to pull the bolt carrier back up here, and there's a hook that 
latches in that you have to put the charging handle in that hooks into the charging handle it's kind of like a for the bolt carrier has like a hole and then there's this hook and then you have to stick the the charging handle in through here so therefore that hook that hole hold it right here and slap it in there that's not something that you want to have happen when you're out in the field you know what i'm saying when you're outside shooting it's happened to me at an indoor gun range and the good thing about that was since i'm indoors i'm able to see where it went if this shit would have happened let's say at lone star or at copperhead creek you know what i'm saying We've got a Call a whole daggum C spot for the range so you can go out here and try and look for it. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, it ain't but so big. You know what I'm saying? It almost looks like a pit, it almost looks like a, a 45 round casing. So you down there looking through it, you know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it's proprietary. You can't go to Palmetto and buy one of these. You can't go to gunsplus.net and buy one of these well just that part you have to go specifically to m but m and m and m you know what i'm saying m and m industries you have to go and get it from them directly so that's something that i don't necessarily like now as far as business person business mind hey i'm a, i'm i'm for that you know what i'm saying if i make something i only want you to come to me to get it i don't want somebody else to copy my design and then they selling the same thing I'm doing and, I'm, and they may even make it better or sell it for a cheaper price. Yeah, that's going to make me mad. So therefore, no, you know what I'm saying? If you want what I make, you come and get it from me and therefore you pay my prices. That's what Eminem was doing. But I'm not a builder. So therefore, that's something that's not necessarily a plus. But as you know, though, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker got a gas piston system already on it. Right here at the top, you get three settings. You get the zero, the one, and the two. The zero if you want to run suppressed. The one if you're just running your nice brass 762 by 39. And then two. If you run that nasty, dirty shit that they people like to call, which I don't really think it is, but all right, you're running Tula, you're running Wolf, you know what I'm saying, or something that somebody done just gave you or you done found, then you keep it on that on that two. I keep it on the two, you know what I'm saying, because I don't want to too much have any type of brass. I'm really just running what I'm running, and that's what I can get. Ambidextra safeties, I like that. Think you would like it too, and the free folding handguard through the whole entire thing. Um, I got these here from Slate Black. I'm gonna put their Instagram up on there for you. And man, don't ask me about this that gum optic. I got this. I got this optic off of Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Now I will tell you though, the motherfucker does work. You know what I'm saying? And have got a nice little set of hundred yards. Of, of of groupings at 100 yards in the indoor gun range at the range Austin so that was dope and I liked that a lot and then of course you got to the, the way that this opens up is really nice so I'm going to tell you so you fold it like that and when you do so you have this button you push this button in let's see if I can do that hole for you Push that button in. Oh, my, I'm, my, my fault, y'all. My fault, y'all. Because I know everybody likes to do that. Uh, it's empty. You know what I'm saying? So, nothing in there. I do also like that. When you when you charge it, it gives you this little, that, that, that little high-pitched ring sound. So, that's cool. So, anyway, like I was saying, you push this in I'm I got the barrel of the muzzle right on my thigh so I'm not I'm gonna move that because that shit hurt I just got finished doing squats but push that in and voila that opens up 
Now you can get to your bolt carrier. You can get to the trigger mechanisms. I don't know if you can upgrade the trigger in this. It looks like you kind of can, but the way that, that safety looks, I don't know. But with that being said, let's go back to being proprietary. When it comes to having the access to break this down with having to unfold the Zukov stock, that means you can't really put another type of stock on here, such as, let's say, I want to go with JMAC and put a skeleton stock on the hoe. I didn't already ask them and DM and on Instagram. They said, no, they don't make anything for that. So you're stuck with using Zukov. I'm not saying Zukov is bad, but if I'm, but unless I'm going to just wrap some goon tape on it, there's nothing else I can really do for it. But It's it's nice, feels good. You know what I'm saying? Looks good. You know what I'm saying? You put a mag in it. You know what I'm saying? So, down to next. Run you about fourteen hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Tax title and tag. You know what I'm saying? Has a has a little old built-in stop to it. You can get you a light. You can get you a. Um, your lasers or whatever you want to put on there, you know what I'm saying? Another thing I will say, it doesn't take all magazines. And I don't like that. Because if a shit hit the fan type situation happens, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just grabbing magazines. I don't want that to happen to me where this thing just falls out. And I'm trying to protect my family and my property and all that there. And I'm shooting and clapping and all that. And just things just falls out. What am I do after that? You know what I'm saying? We, we, we can't just hold up my hands or I'm going to try to go to the side piece. I'm going to go to the 9, the 40, 45. Or I'm going to have to rush and find another magazine, you know, to try and throw this in there and, 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 and do what I got to do. No. I don't, really, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But one cool thing also is the flash hider that comes with it. So this flash hider does a really good job with keeping the recoil down. The, the, the recoil on this is very manageable, better than other full length 16 inch barrel AKs. So I will give it that. But as far as trying to do anything else with it, that's, that's all I got. Hey, so everybody knows Galil, you know what I'm saying? And saw when it came out earlier this year, Galil H Gen 2, how everybody was ranting and raving about how it was improved over the other Galil, the first one. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, Put up on the screen so you know, but I mean, some of the shit they talking about 16 inch chrome line, cold hammer forge barrel, the charging handle reciprocating and weight reduction with polymer construction and free float M lock rail and full length two piece Picatinny rail. For somebody like me, I didn't, I never, I never saw a Galil in person. You know what I'm saying? I think I played it on Call of Duty. I think I seen some on some of the other, other video games, but I don't even know nothing about it. I saw them on YouTube, and I'm like, hmm, it's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. Then I saw they, they dropped the Ace Gen 2, and I was like, let me go buy myself one of the modes. All right, so daggum Galil Ace Gen 2. Um, it's same as before, you know what I'm saying? But, Nothing in there. Could be good. But the Galil H Gen 2. We're going to talk about it. Right off, you know what I'm saying? What right off the bat is this right here. I remember watching it, seeing it on YouTube, and it did the slow motion and how it was just going, you know, when, when old dude, when, when Duke was busting, cause I don't, I'm, he don't know me and I'm not about to give him any free promotion, but of course y'all, y'all know who I'm talking about. But when Duke was busting, that slow motion was going on and this was just going back and forth and it was 
just going back and forth. And this needs to be a little bit old up, but but it's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you saw it just go closing in and out. I was like, man, I like that. I like that a lot. And then I bought it. And I, when I held it, I, I felt that, wow, this, this feels well put together. Now, maybe because this is very wide. This is very, very wide. And it's, and it's, has this feel of big, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm holding myself, I'm taking the piss. Feels big. I said this. This feels like everything that I. This feels like every dime that I spent on this. The full length Picatinny. Same thing as as the as hybrid. And I call this Optimus Prime. I name all my guns Optimus Prime. It just felt right. And the ambidextrous safety right here. You have this one right here on the grip. So cool. And you have this one here. So daggone cool. And the grip feels so daggone cool. Now, of course, I added a little old Strike Industries angle front grip. So when I'm out here, I'm able to hold it like that. And then on top of that, if I'm using the VTAC, I can brace it from the VTAC. I added the Midwest Industries brake on here, which I didn't shoot it. I didn't shoot it with the regular brake that it had on there, it was, which was just a, a bird cage. But I reckon this it shoots better than what it would have. The the stock I, I put the cheek well, the the cheek rise on here because. The way that I'm shooting it, I have the vortex red dot, and when I'm in that thing, since I don't have to necessarily pull my head down, you know what I'm saying? I can just put my cheek on here. You know what I'm saying? If I know from my cheeks right here, down, you know, I, I I know I'm looking straight down, gum down the dot, and I see where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to do none of that, you know what I'm saying, tomorrow year, because I just know that if I put my cheek on there, then that's exactly where I want to be. Now, can I do that with hybrid? Can I do that with the M10X? I don't think you can. I don't think you can put a daggone cheek rises on there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think you can really do anything different with hybrid than you can do with this. This gives you opportunities to change up everything if you wanted to, if you wanted to. Not that I'm going to, I like how it is. Spending about $200 more than the hybrid, is it worth it? That's what we're gonna have to find out. I think we need to go to a range and figure it out because there ain't no way that I'm gonna just sit here and talk to you and just tell you about it. But this hole, and it is a little heavier, but this hole, this hole, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, just, this is one thing I, this is what you ain't got to worry about. I can twist this, I can push it in, this ain't coming off, you know what I'm saying? So, when I'm, when I'm racking, I ain't got to worry about that. Unlike hybrid, gotta worry about that. We're gonna get to the range, probably in the next video, and we're gonna figure it out. What's the difference? What's better? And should you buy them? Would I buy it over again? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it with you. But look, hey, the only way you can do this shit is if you avoid the felony. Avoid the felony. Don't be out in the streets doing stupid shit. Don't get caught up in anybody else's shit. And don't talk to cops. You know what I'm saying? Talking to cops lead to more cops. How do I know? Because I've seen this shit happen. You go talk to the cops, 
somebody gonna come see you and then you gonna have to defend yourself and then you end up doing something stupid because you got to prove to them that you ain't one of these run and go tell everything that they see type folk or somebody's gonna just put hands on you and hey you might beat their ass up you might even put them on the ground now the cops coming for you because you talk to the cops lawyer up even if you ain't got the money lawyer up you know what i'm saying pay that ten thousand dollar non-refundable retainer and then Get your freedom and don't pay it because you can't afford it. But don't talk to cops. Avoid the felony. Don't do stupid shit, but don't talk to cops. I'm sorry to say the wolf man. I'm going to get back with you. Yeah.